Hello everyone and welcome back to Wild Bill's Fishing Reels. We're out here today, the water's up high. We're going to see if we can't find these traps via GPS and this here anchor grab. Hopefully they full of fish. We got four out still. We're going to set a fifth. This time we brought bait. We didn't forget it. So hopefully y'all wish us luck. Fingers crossed we ain't touched nothing yet. We don't know what's happening today, but hopefully it's a good day. We got a couple of coolers. Well, no, actually we got a few. We brought three this time because we had one that was empty. We reset it a little way and we thinking if it's full, we're probably gonna need this extra one. So guys, we'll get back with y'all here shortly. All right, guys, we had the first one. This current is crazy oh. today. Watch out. I don't know why you let you. it go, but. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got some fish in here. And <laughs> hey, we gonna fight today. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're trying to push back this. Now that's fun. That's what I'm right talking about. That's fun right there, guys. What y'all think? What y'all think about that? That's what we're looking for too. Catfish. Love them catfish. Uh Woo wee. Guys, this is where it's at. Let's uh, grab me that blue ice chest blue back ice there. Yeah. yeah. You want me to keep recording? Or? That was pretty yeah. good. Yeah, let's let's get a little footage putting them in there. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's see what we're working with. We got one big one, a couple of big ones. Look at that. So we'll kind of let people see how we going to bait it oh. to. How do we do this? I should have hit that anchor mode <laughs> on the trolling motor. That may do us some good. Uh, grab uh, my, uh, my thing uh, out of that. Right. Yeah, I'll put this down. Right They're playing around like. Mm. Got this fancy trolling motor now. Let's use it. Let's see what she do. Oh, I'm gonna lose my remote day one. Ah, my uh, hold on to the fish. Uh, me. They're making that sound like rah, rah. Oh yeah, we slowly moving on. Oh. That was We're gonna get out of it. It'll be alright. Yes, and because it's so flooded here. I'm gonna hit an anchor right here. And hopefully it don't throw me off the boat. I'm trying to stay still. Alright. With a trap. <laughs> alright, so this real life we'll bloopers see. out here and we're not gonna edit none of this. <laughs> we're gonna let y'all see just how it went down. Cause I, I think that's where it's at. The the realness in the world. There ain't enough of it sometimes, so mm -hmm. we're gonna give it all to y'all. Oh, look at that. Nasty. Mm. That'd take a long time to catch that many fish, guys. You know how long it took us? A week. We've been we've been fishing this trap a whole week. While I've been working. The trap been out here working too. So Guys, I love it. I'm excited. And then one, the biggest, one of the biggest ones are stuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they like to get stuck. But the anchor mode's working good. Yeah, the anchor mode's working great. Guys, if y'all can afford one of these trolling motors, I keep hauled around with getting one forever. And I should have not waited so long now. Seeing this, because... I would have fought my tail off out there in this current trying to do this. And now this, this trolling motor is working for me. Man, this is beautiful, guys. Look at him. We got a little trash in the net. Look, when well, I say trash, that was a limb. We ain't going to dirty up the waters. Let's get one of them bait blocks and let's show them how we put this in. So, here go another. I call it trash, but it's just a limb. 
This water is milky. Let them see that water. That's chocolate right there. That's chocolate. You see it moving? You see how it's moving past that tree? Show them that tree. Let them see how that water pushing through here. It's perfect catfish weather. But uh, right here, we got that old bait block. Cheese, soybean, cornmeal, fiber. We're going to let it work for us again for another week. But the way I'm going to set this is this is the way it's going to go down. So opposite of my rope, I'm going to set it on that side. Because I want my, my trap to be weighted down on the opposite side, right? So when I'm when I'm setting it in, it's going in the water. It's, it's the way I want it already, right? So we're going to take this here, this tie. We're going to pull it. See, you want your tie to wear on the back side of it. You're pulling it tight and you're flipping it over. That's why you see my rope on this side right here. See? And we're going to come in and for those of y'all that don't know how to tie it, I'll bring y'all in if y'all want to see it. So, just ran the rope right over and I'm peach it with my finger where I can hold it tight like that. And I'm going to take that rope and I'm going to go back through with a little loop like that. You see? And the end that's not loose, you see you got one loose end? The opposite end, I'm going to pull it tight. Oh, I'm going to no. give me a little slack, but I'm going to pull it tight. Look over there. And then I'm just going to take this it's so trashy. And wrap around and come right back in, just like you would a square knot. Just kind of pull the slack out. Because I don't want that knot to come out. I don't want something to hang this and pull it out prematurely, guys. So that's how we do it. All right, that's it in a nutshell. Let's see how many fish we caught this week. One trap. We got four more, and today we're going to put out a fifth. Because, uh,. We want to do good things. We don't want to just do regular things. We want, uh, well, let me say that again. We want to do great things. We don't want to do just regular stuff because anybody can just do regular stuff. So we're going we gonna to try to gather up some fish. Because again, I, I told y'all last week, got a coworker going through some things with her mama. And I want to do a benefit dinner for her or something and donate the proceeds, proceeds to her and her mama. So. That's the goal. Hopefully, we got 15 pounds of fillets last week. Hopefully, we can get 30 this week and we have 45 and we make a pile of cash for her and her mama. So, we'll be right back when we get to the next trap. Thank y'all. Where's the... Amelia, move that pole right here so he don't. Y'all think we? Ooh, I seen him before. I seen him. What we got, guys? I love to see. Look, just look at that craziness in the water. Man, I love to see that right there. That let me oh. know. We got them buffaloes. Yep, we got them buffaloes in there. Some of them big old buffaloes. Nah. I learned this last trip that. I don't know if I'm a fool with buffalo, because I like... Oh, hold on. Caught up in my trolling motor. I think it is. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, it's right there. Oh. Wow. Yeah. This is just our second. 
having to feed it through the throat of the trap when I finally got it unlocked. But uh this is just our second trap. Yeah. It's just the second trap. Yeah. Buffalo. And look, it's caught guys. This is where that one was caught last time. Right there in the dead burn mouth of the trap. And I finally, I, I figured out how it was in there last time. Let's see if I can get it out any faster this time. Why is it not flopping like it. around? His mouth's still moving. It's not dead. Let's see. There we go. You see? I had to get it fed back through him. And then when I got it through him, I was able to feed it through where, where it should have went. That's where it should have went. The fish not smart enough to just do what they supposed to do. There's still one catfish. I know, I see. Like that. What we gonna do with that, me? Uh -huh. Make a sandwich. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're gonna make a sandwich with that. Sammy. Yeah. Good old fish fillet. Yeah. Oh, well, there's more trash over there. We're going to go through these. We better calm down. We're going to get them buffalo out of here. They don't want them. I don't want them buffalo. When well, Lionel, when you pick them up and throw them out. That's what I'm about to do. Yeah, I can't pick them up. They're a bit too heavy. So We're going to grab these buffaloes and let them go. Look at that thing. Look at that. Let's see if they all do that. That one didn't. Why that one didn't want to put on the show? Oh, Ooh, come on. Ah, yeah. How about putting on the show? <laughs> yeah, getting poked by them catfish. That all right, one. where's them tongs at? That you got, you got them tongs? Tongs? Well, we'll get them in a sec. Let me get, uh, let me get this one baited up. We'll throw it back out. That's why I didn't grab that one. It was stuck together. So again, we'll show y'all. Got the rope on this side. Let me get right here, man. So if the rope's on this side of the trap, I want my bait on the opposite. So, uh, hope it don't fall off. We got a rope and up. We're going to set it opposite of where I got my my anchor rope to pull it up. And then, again, with a hoop set in the opposite side, we're gonna flip that over. So I done these intentionally opposite of each other. That way it'd be an easy thing to remember. And then I just looked and seen how it was closing the best. And that's the way I done it. So again, I can show y'all. You can pull this, get your tension, pinch this, and you take and you just make your loop through that. And then you pull with the side that ain't your loose side. That other side, you pull it, it'll get tight. And then you just take that, run it around, and you come back through that hole you just made. And then you pull that slack out of them. Now you're good to go. 
Now all we got to do is throw it back in. And again, current running that way, down river. We want the whole of our trap, which is right here. This is where they swim in. That's where that buffalo was hung up. We want that pointing down the river. That way that food smells going down river and the fish is swimming up and they get in there so they can get in that ice chest. So let's try it again. See y'all shortly. Right. We here in another one. This is what, number three, right? Yes, sir. Don't, don't, don't hook that, buddy. You're hanging me up. Oh. Let's, let's, uh, let's hit that trolling motor. Let's do that. You want to hit that anchor lock? You see the anchor? This? Yep. All right. Now let it hold us here. Let, let the uh, trolling motor do the dirty work. And let's see if we can't clean up some fish. Are they, ooh, ooh. Ooh. How we there? They not make they not making a lot of racket. I don't want it on the uh, now you wanna make racket. <laughs> Crazy fish. Hey, they ain't a whole lot of quantity, but we got some quality in here. There's some pretty good ones in here. I like this. Oh. Trying to hang up in the end of it. Let's turn it. Let's turn it around. Yep. Yep. Oh. Alright, you see? Wow. Even though people say, why are you tying that square knot in there? If I didn't have these gloves on, this, this wouldn't be nothing to undo. Even with gloves on, it ain't that bad. You see? Get that get that out. Not sure. Oh. Ah. Boy, this thing here. Cut it off. Oh, we all missing now. Take these gloves off. Yeah. I tell y'all how easy it is, and then it hung up on me. Look at that. Daddy. Huh? I think one of them got abused. One of them got abused. Yeah, because one of them, like, got that one. Yeah. Skin. We gonna clean them up. It'll be all right. That skin comes off. We fillet them. That's what we do. We fillet them. Oh, we gotta release some right. um, buffalo. Yep, we gonna release some buffalo. Well, at least there's only two buffalo. Let's open that trap up. Only two buffalo. Let's grab these buffalo and get them back. Hopefully that catfish don't swipe me. Look at that big old thing. Well, they make a lot of noise going back, don't they? Yep. And it's cool. They act like an alligator. Yeah, that yeah. one act like an alligator. Like... My trolling motor wasn't hung up like I thought it was. That's a... Uh... Alligator fish or alligator swimmers because they look like an alligator as they're swimming. All right. right here, look good. Ooh. All right, you got me another bait block. Yep, I'm using it right now. Even a tough day, this is fun. This is fun here, guys. Look at that. All right, again, if y'all can see it. You'll probably see my rope flying off the side while this trolling motor is doing its best to keep me somewhere near. So we're going to put it in here, like this here. We're going to get that. Oh, I got that on that side with it, probably. Yep, I do. We might have to fix this. We might have to turn it off anchor mode. Get a little closer. Oh, that fish is mad. Yeah, oh, that's bad. where we are. Hmm? Okay. Guys, this current is out here ripping. Where we are, I see eddies everywhere. I just knew this thing was going to be slapped full of catfish. With this eddy, look, you can see these eddies coming off. But uh, I was wrong. It wasn't as full as I thought it was going to be. But nonetheless, we got fish out of it. And we got one more to try. 
And then we got our fifth one, our brand new one, to set. So. Yeah, y'all hear that trolling motor working? It's giving everything it's got right now to keep me somewhere near. Kind of close. Not really, though. But look at that. Look Not at all that. the way, but it's trying its job. Right. It's trying to do its job. Oh, yeah, it's trying to do its job. Let's get it over anchor mode. I want to get it back over here. Because I got this one standing. And maybe it's not doing as good. Maybe I, there's so many hangs down here. I'm scared to set this thing straight down. Because when I went to setting it down and, and I brought it back up, it hung up every time. So I got this one setting vertical. This is the only trap I still got setting vertical. Every other one is setting down, facing downstream in the current. So this one didn't do bad last time. I don't want to give up hope. Maybe it's because this water came up. It was a little too low in the column at that point. So we're gonna we're gonna try it. Let's get back over here to where I can put the, the uh, trap vertical again. I, I raised it up a little bit last time too. I didn't mention that. But I got this one the way it just sits up a lot nicer. See, it'll, it'll, you see, it's got weight on it because it's not quite sitting on the bottom. It's sitting vertical with a little bit of kick downstream. It's got no choice but to kick downstream in this current, but the way I got it hung is going to make it uh, set downstream regardless. But we got one more right across from here. And I'm hoping nobody knows this river that well and come mess with my trap. We hoping that, that there's more good people than bad out there. But I got another one right across the way from this one. And this one, on the other hand, is laying downstream, facing south, way the current uh, going. Mouth of the trap is open to the current. Let's see if we can get over here. You see it? It's barely visible. Yeah. And I'm gonna get hurt. Yeah, no, you're not. You're not gonna get hurt. With it. That's, no one getting hurt today. Look, let me see it. Alright, you got it? Yep. Look, don't, don't. You just pick straight up. There you go. Just like that. That's oh, getting into my eyes. Well, then move if you need to. It's fine. That, you can let it go. That is good. Oh. Just move back. Nah. Yep. I'll get this rope. Here you go. You wanna grab this for me? Yeah, I got it. Alright, let's see if we can't get out of here. Uh oh, get out of the bush. Uh, not fall out the boat. Uh, These sticks do not like us today. Well, again, this water is up. Look at that. I'm, I think I'm pulling up uh, a tree. With it. Oh look! Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, this thing's full of mud. Look at him. Ah, oh, baby. Oh. Oh. I don't know how many fish we got. We got a bunch of nasty in there, though. Got a few fish. I know I see one mud cat. That ain't coming with us. Oh, that's nasty. Let's, uh, we're going to pour this out on the deck. A mud cat? Yeah. What's that? Uh, at that. that covered in mud? No. <laughs> they uh, I forget the, the real name for them. We call them old mud cats. They, uh. What do they do? Why can't we keep them? I mean, you can, but ain't real good. To, they, they, like the, like the name says, they're kind of muddy tasting, you know? Oh. So. Boy, we hung up in something because I, I ain't even holding on to nothing and we we gripped onto this tree right now. So Wow. Ugh. Ugh. Now I only see a few fish because of all the leaves. Yeah. 
Yeah, this ain't nasty. This is nasty. Oh lord, some are stuck in the mud. Hope none of them fall out. Oh, that there is the mud cat. You know what they call these rascals? That thing, ooh, that thing will bite you. Look, it's so mean. They so mean. They'll bite you quick. Oh, look at that. Trying to give y'all a good, skin. good, good picture of it. See? Oh, Real man. yellow. It stinks. Let's get, let's get the, uh, let's get the good ones in here. It stinks. Make sure we ain't got no more. Get in here. Yeah, looks like we caught a whole bunch of garbage, clogged the net up, and didn't catch many fish out of it this week. Just do the, Woo. all the trash. Well, that's our some, big jackpot. I'm gonna have some cleaning on my boat to do. Hey dad, that's our jackpot trap. <laughs> jackpot <laughs> trap, I don't know how. We didn't score big on that one. We scored biggest, I think, on, on the, the first one. one. Yeah, and last time that was the one we did the worst on. So it's gonna be a week by week thing. Oh, Lord. I mean, obviously, we learning. Mm -hmm. We gonna figure this stuff out. Uh, but yeah, we gonna get in here and try it again anyway. I don't know. I don't know if I want to put it so far out. I may actually get a little. I don't know. I, it, this one did good last time. I, I'm gonna I'm give it another shot. Let's. I don't want to get to where I'm moving on the count of one week something happens, because this wasn't an expected thing. So let's see. We got the rope on this side. Bait on the opposite side. Let's see where we at. Try to pull it down. Oh. Yep. For those of y'all that don't respect the commercial fishermen out there, try this out like I did. You'll gain a new respect for them guys. Because I went and got my commercial fishing license without a clue what to do. There ain't a whole lot of information out there. That's why I'm making these videos on it. Because... It really don't benefit me to make a fool of myself for y'all in any way that I can think of. Other than maybe y'all get a good laugh out of it. But uh, let's go for it. Let's try it again. This is going to be for week three. Let's give it a go. Bye-bye. Let's hope that I don't get stuck. Last trap. Last trap. Mm. This is the new one. We say the last trap. This is the the one that ain't been here yet. It's stiff as a board. We opened some of that new well off this coming week. But again, we got the rope on this side of the mouth. We're gonna put the block on the opposite. Yup. I wanted to come out here and do some fishing tomorrow, but it don't look like this is the place to go. Maybe we could go to Toledo Bend or something where they letting all that water come out at and they flooding everything down here and have a good day of fishing. Cause uh, I don't think you're gonna do too much right here unless you can find something off of this water. Uh, Unless you can find somewhere off of this. If you can find somewhere good that that uh, had a break from this current, that, that's where the fish going, a lot of the fish going to be. Look, you game fish, let me say. So, any breaks from the river on a rough day like this, if they can find a calm spot, they'll sit right at the edge of it and hit bait fish as they come by. And why not? Easy money for them. They ain't putting much energy in, but they getting energy out of it, right? So, 
hop out of anchor mode. Let me see if I can get over here. I'm gonna try to slow roll. Might be making a mistake, guys. Who knows? But I want to try to get something in here. I may come move it later on, but for now, just with this acting like it is, let's get over here. I can, I can get it over here. Probably a little easier. Right now, we're fighting this current, big time. All right. Let's see. Anchor button may or may not be a good thing to do right now. I don't know this trolling motor that well, guys. Let's see if we can, oops. Yeah, no, that anchor button ain't where it's at. About to tie a rope off on this thing. Let's take it. Throw it out. Make sure we got enough water to make it do something. And we ain't just snagged up. Let's see. Can I pick it back up? Beep. 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 Yep. Beep. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm able to get it back up. So this may not be a bad spot, hopefully. But that's what I was worried about. Hopefully, it ain't so shallow that somebody just rides by and sees it. Yeah, this is a rough day to set traps. I probably should have waited. But we here now. do something. I'm going to show y'all a little something that I like to do. Oh. Let's, get, let's get back up here. Alright, so I'm intentionally going to tie this way long, way big around it. So I'm going to come around here pull all this slack through. Put me plenty of slack because I don't know this where I won't be at or not. I may want to go deeper with them when I come back. But you see, I got me a big old lump on that tree and I just got me old square knot. I'm gonna come through the same way with that same knot. The side that slides easy, opposite of it, pull it, and it'll get tight, all right? And then I'm gonna loop that back around just like last time, just like we did the traps. So we're gonna put that in there like that. And then I'm just gonna take this extra line just for now. I'll roll it up right here around my hand. We're going to tie it off in a second. That way I got that extra line. I want to use it somewhere else. So We're going to take it. We're going to come through here. And I'm going to tie it into that line. Right? All right. Then we're going to come through the opposite way. Bring it back through. Do that a couple of times where that line will stay where we want it. All right, so that line is where we need it, right there. All right, now, reason being I've done this is this water is so high out here that I can take that loop now, because it's real big. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. And I can hide it pretty good. So hopefully, somebody come back out here, they don't find it before I do. Oh. Line get soggy, it'll, it'll sink. But uh, hopefully it will anyway. But I want it to where it'll fall as far as it can on that tree. That way, 
out of sight, out of mind, less chance you got of somebody fooling with your stuff. Right, guys? But we gonna mark it on that GPS, and I don't know if y'all fool with hummingbird, but hang on to this for me. Don't let that tree go. And let's step back right here to this uh, GPS. Very simple. Got a little button on here called mark. So we're gonna hit mark. Waypoint created. All right. So we good to go. Now all I gotta do is, if I, if I want, I can come through, mark that waypoint, or uh, edit that waypoint. So I like to name mine for out here. Name them CP, and then just bring them back until, because this is only my fifth trap, right? So this is CP5, this is my fifth trap. And then hit the check, we are good to go. You exit, I believe it's gonna ask me, do I wanna save it? Arrow over, yes, we are good to go. Exit out. So now we got that one marked on the map too. So we'll be able to come out here and find our traps if I just forget. The other thing I like to do, people look might look crazy at me for it, but I'm gonna take a picture. All right, so. Yeah, go ahead. Let's let it go. Let's get out of here a little bit. So. That's what's fancy about these trucks. This is what makes these trolling motors worthwhile, being able to stand over here. Normally I'd have a hand, I had a hand control one, so I had to hop myself up there. So now I'm able to come out here and shut it off. Let's anchor down for a sec. Let me take a picture. Yeah. So I ain't got to worry about it. So I can get me an idea and then I'll take that picture and I'll draw on it. That way I know exactly where the stuff is. Oops. Circle that tree. CP5. Boom. Simple. But that's, how, that's how I can remember where I put these things at. But guys, we had fun. And we appreciate all the likes, all the comments, all the subscribers. We appreciate everything from y'all. And uh, if, if, if you got any requests on videos, get with us. Let us know what you want to see. We'll try to make it happen if we can. And if you're around the southwest Louisiana, southeast Texas region, and you want to come fishing with us, drop me a mail, and let's see if we can't make it happen. We might can... Uh, if, if you got an interesting story, maybe we can do like a podcast and hear about it. You know, if you like a veteran or, you know, I, I like to hear more like the, the elder stories. Keep that, keep them alive when, whenever they go. Because YouTube's a blessing that, that that's, you had the ability with this to keep yourself alive even after you're gone. So get with us. We look forward to y'all again. Thank you for everything. We'll see y'all next time. We forgot to mention, like always, if you can't think of nothing to do, go fishing.